Hey love bugs, it is Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and we hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste. Love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough just to even tell me about the experience you're having about being a hey ochre or even being an empath or any kind of spiritual gift that you know you have, I love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you feel like you resonate with my video and you enjoy what you heard, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. It will be greatly appreciated. And thank you so much and God bless and for coming to my channel. I really appreciate that. Thank you for the love and support. And for my returning subs, what's up, fam? Much love to you. Much love and light. Many blessings and much more blessings are yet to come for you. And namaste. And thank you so much for the love and support and for you dropping by my channel and even dropping the comments. I love it. I tell you each and every day. I might not even tell y'all exactly. I'm going to start writing down names and giving y'all shout outs. I'm going to start doing that because it's just like each and every comment that I get every day. Y'all don't know how much y'all move in my heart. Y'all really don't know. And I mean, it is a tremendous blessing. So you know, I'm grateful. It just lets me know, you know, I'm doing a good job. You know, there's so many people opening up and knowing, okay, my life goes way past this. I have a purpose. And some people are lost in their purpose and they don't know. They really, truly don't know. And people sometimes like they know like those up there and say like how are you not know your purpose in life and there's really some people out there do not know their purpose in life they really don't but um uh the the music that i'm listening to right now you might not be able to hear it because i turned it down so you can be able to hear me and it's a perfect perfect uh meditation to what i'm about to do my content on my video today is negative thoughts remove remove negative thoughts positive energy meditation music clearing out subconscious negativity yes and i will post that link in the description box below i'll let y'all go ahead and hear it real quick because it's very peaceful But, yeah, I mean, I did a nice, quick prayer. You know, I prayed for everybody before. I always, like I said, I always pray for everybody before I do my videos. And it's just more viewers out there that it's not really about views. It's just about you educating yourself. Because I know what it felt like to, you know, have all these thousands of questions in my head. Why am I so sensitive to certain things? Why is there certain people I can't be around and it's just too much? Or why do you, you know, I get sensitive to certain people? Why do people notice me and they're worried about me and think I'm sensitive? So I used to ask all them thousands of questions and it was just like, you know, YouTube became my best friend and Google did too. But um, my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka is dealing with mental illness that has caused that has been caused by childhood trauma or even abuse. And then it doesn't even have to go with just childhood because some people can have the perfect childhood and then they end up dating the wrong person in their life and come to find out, you know, they're sleeping with a freaking enemy. You never know. Or you could be like me, adopted into a family and had to deal with a lot of abuse. You know, it could be anything. And it's just like, some people are born this way, and then some people, they have became this way for the childhood trauma. It could have been a sexual assault. It could have been, you know, a spousal situation that, you know, you, you became like you are. You know, and it's just like growing up, going through my situation, I found myself in and out of uh, psychiatric homes or psychiatric hospitals and stuff like that and it's not because i was crazy it was just the fact is i was dealing with a lot of demons on from what i went through in my life and it's just like i did not know because i had so much energy flustering up in me and dealing with everybody else's emotions and thinking they were mine i thought i was about to lose it 
So I know there's people out there that might not even want to admit it because they're ashamed, but it's just, that's all the process of healing. You have to be able to know, you know, the situation that I was put in made me this way. Or, you know what, I was born with a chemical imbalance. There are some people who are born like that because it's been passed down from their parents. So it's just so many things that people deal with. And it's just like dealing with depression, dealing with anxiety. There are so many days, you know, especially after my father died. And um, it was just enough, like, losing a sister. You know, I lost my sister uh, back when I was like... 14, 15, and then turned around, and, you know, it, it, it just seemed like death followed me, and then when I finally moved to the South after losing my mother in 05, you know, it seemed like my closest friends that, that was very near and dear to me had passed away, not even a couple months apart, so it was just like dealing with so many things and not able to talk to anybody, not able to cope, not able to deal with it, didn't even know how to deal with it. You know, was this something I was dealing with on my own or other people were dealing with stuff like this? And it was just like so much I had to deal with. But just to let you know, you are not alone. I mean, they used to call me a case file, you know, ADHD or ADD, I mean ADD or bipolar or you know I had PTSD for me being assaulted brutally assaulted by a police officer on top of that being assaulted when I was you know younger you know it, it was just all different type of things that I had to go through that um, I had to deal with I really did so it was just like you know am I mentally ill no it's just all in your mind when it comes to situations like this, I don't know what anybody else's is, if they can deal with it and they can be able to see the things that they need to see about their lives. And it's just with me, I knew it was more psychological more than anything. Because with a child that has to go through some stuff like that, that is really, that's a lot. That's a lot. And it's just like when I can hear about these, you know, uh, you know, when I stay on uh, YouTube, I hear about all these different abuse situations or cases and stuff like that and I commend anybody that is a social worker and stuff like that because I will probably lose my dad on mine just reading the stuff that these children had to go through it's just like I saw a clip that I stumbled upon um I was watching crime special edition I think it was on YouTube where this woman had just messed her son up and he ended up pass them away and they fed them to their livestock that's how bad it got where it messed me up for a couple of days where I had nightmares about that and it's like I'm the type of person to watch horror movies all the time and it doesn't affect me like that but listening to something like that just to know it can get worse than that you know you hear about cases like that and it's just it's, it's just really sad and it's like people that had to deal with stuff like that and it, it's sad to say that that baby finally ended up getting peace through all that torture but it's sad the way he had to go out to feel like he wasn't loved you know and I really that really you know I had to pray for him even though I know he's passed I had to pray for him that hopefully you know his his soul has found peace to know that there was family members out there that wanted to do something but could not get a hold of him you know and that really touched my heart and so it's just like seeing different people that I know that's near and dear to me, how their past has really affected their life and their adulthood. Because it's like with children, when you have affected them, it really affects their life. It really affects their life in their adulthood. That's why I worry so much about my children because they've been exposed to different things in my life that I was not proud of. And I, I mean, I have no problem with saying that because it's just like I'm living in my truth. I have no problem with being forcing my, you know, forcing my truth like that. You know, and it's just when we're going through things, just to know that you're not alone. Um, you will get through whatever trauma that has put you in this, this situation that made you feel like it has hindered you or it has probably gave you a, a, some kind of post-traumatic stress disorder or anything like that. Know that you will make it or if not, try to seek help for that.
So I'm not trying to hold you up, and I hope somebody was able to resonate with this video or something that they needed to hear at this exact time. And I just felt like somebody needed to hear that, so I was compelled to make these videos for, about this today. So um, I will say a prayer for you, and I will definitely hope you keep me in your prayers also. Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video. I'm going my back like this down on my dark side thing so <laughs> so i was just playing with lipstick and makeup and stuff today so i'm like okay but i hope everybody has a blessed day a blessed week and i will see you on my next video be responsible uh send out as much love and light as possible and if your frequency low or you see somebody else please raise it to the roof and i will see you on my next video peace and be wild